Now, on to the next stage. Now, in this example, I've actually jumped to my uh, Linux demonstration system running as a virtual machine. Uh, I'm not going to go through the full step of uh, installing a connector. Uh, what I have done is I've started the install, and I'm actually going to come to the next bit. So this is typically what you would do from a scenario. So. Uh, in this example, I'm actually just going to spin it up. I'm using a, a virtual machine so I can go through the graphical elements of, of doing the configuration steps and so on. So I, I actually have my file is actually on this Linux host, which I'll uh, cover in a second. Uh, but what I do need to do is uh, install a connector so I can do the, that testing, run that little GUI interface so I can actually start processing and, and creating the regex and, and getting the configuration file for my Flex connector set up. So like I say, I'm not going to go through the full steps of doing the connector set setup. It's very simple, very standard. I, I'm just installing this locally. But what I am going to do is start stepping through a couple of different ways of how we do this. Now, first example, I'm actually going to do this as a file. So I'm receiving this data, this log file, and I want to process that log file. So what do I want to do? I want to add a connector. Uh, and this is where we select what type of connector we want to process. Now, there's lots of different types, lots of different information. And what we want is a flex connector type. I'm not going to go through all of the examples here. We can do things like files. We can do ID-based databases, JSON followers, and so on. What I want to be able to do is, in this most typical example, is I want to be looking at using regex to process a file, or I want to use regex to process a folder in which a file is located. So in this example, I'm actually going to do the folder file. That allows me to identify when new files are placed into a folder and then have that match a particular uh, sequence uh, of the naming structure, for example, date, time, that kind of thing. Uh, and in this example, it's going to be very simple because it's just one file. But it, I'm just going to use this as a regex folder file flex connector. Next thing it's going to do is what do we want to do and where is the particular uh, configuration settings and so on. So um, do I want to process unparsed events? That's a really good example of uh, what do we want to do if we don't fully match the log entry? Do we just want to process it anyway? Uh, you probably want to set that to be uh, false anyway, but I'm going to set it to be true just to give an example of that. And we need to give it the location of where that log file is located. Like I say, I've actually transferred it to this Linux machine, uh, and we're actually just going to browse to that particular folder, which is in my opt arc site flex file source. So that's where the file is located. The next thing we do is we give it a configuration file uh, name effectively. So uh, I'm actually going to call this flex file. So there we go, flex file. And we hit next. Uh, typically, it's going to try and load that flex file. I haven't created anything yet, so there's nothing there. But I still do want to continue with that for the moment. So that's OK. That's just an informational message. Uh, where do I want to send this? So this is, again, typically as part of the connector setup, how we'd go about this. I'm actually going to send it to ESM, uh, and I'm going to send it to the particular host. Uh, we do need to give it uh, the uh, relevant authorization to allow me to actually send the data to it. And uh, just as with all other connectors, uh, do we want it to be the uh, ArcSite update master location? So do we get updates from this particular one? In general, yes. Uh, do we want to filter out everything? Uh, so you do have the capability of just filtering everything out if you want to. Uh, in this case, uh, no, I don't want to do that. And is it a demo CA? So yes, it is. So let's just carry on. And what do we want to call this? Flex file demo. The location is on my VM. And we could put some further comments in there as well, but I'm not going to worry. And now it's going to continue and just finish the final uh, preparation of this flex connector ready for me to start doing the final bit of the configuration around processing that particular log file. So there we go. We finished that. Do we want to import the certificate? Yes, we do. And it just imports the certificate, reloads and restarts the connector container that it's running in just to make sure that we are authorized to do so. So now we just finished doing this. Uh, next. Uh, next. And do we want to continue or do we want to exit? Well, actually, we want to exit now. And it just finishes doing the installer. And now we're done. So what have we done there? What we have done is we've installed a connector, a flex connector, just to process that particular file in that location. We haven't done any configuration of the actual processing of that file yet, or how we're going to pull out those tokens or anything. 
but it, I've stepped through the initial steps that you would go through to configure that and to start that process. So that's the end of that very quick video. And next step, we'll be going into actually looking at the configuration files and what we need to do to make those changes. Thank you very much.